We're about to see if these hips don't lie. We're at Nazim Alel's belly dancing studios. I'm going to go find out more, and then I'm going to see if I can hang with the girls. Let's go. We're all belly dancing all the time, so um, it's kind of neat because instead of you know, um, if you call someplace and you say, hey, I want to take your belly dancing class, we have 32 classes every week that you can take. Belly dance is the oldest dance form in the whole world. It fuses with every other dance form, you know, because it's the original. So we have everything you can imagine in the world of belly dance right in one studio, so what, right in one company. What is the typical woman that you see here? Every woman. I, you know, uh, dancers can start here at 16, and we have uh, all the way up until in their 70s. And um, you don't have to be a certain weight, a certain height. You don't have to have a certain build. It's not like other forms of dance where you have to look a certain way. The only thing you need is to be a woman. You guys have a troupe that you right. direct. Tell me about the troupe. Uh, well, Nazim Malayal, it actually came before the studios. The troupe came before the studio. So, Nazim Malayal is a professional troupe, and they dance at um, nightclubs, restaurants, birthday parties, anniversaries, um, corporate events, uh, all different kinds of events. And then, of course, um, the oldest form of professional belly dancing is weddings and rehearsal dinners. For our students, belly dance is more than just a workout. You know, they think that they're coming in just to shake it down, and they think they're coming just to, you know, burn the belly fat off. But um, we get these really beautiful letters and emails from students, and they pull us aside all the time after they complete a course, and they're like, you know, Matab, uh, thank you for showing me how to love being a woman. Thank you. Thank you for showing me how to appreciate myself and love all of the positive things about me. The self-esteem that they get in addition to the workout, it's, you wouldn't believe, the kind of transformation. Now, to be a belly dancer, you have to have the proper attire. Well, to take class, there's a couple of things you need. Um, you need a coin sash, and they come in all different sizes, colors, shapes, and they're all handmade, they're gorgeous. Uh, and you need shoes. Besides that, you're set. All right, so it's time for me to make my belly dancing debut. I'm gonna go get changed now. All right, and we dance. Let's go. Bend your knees, because we never ever lock out our knees. Just lengthen your lower back and have a straight back from top to bottom. You're going to hold it with your abs. So you're gonna pull your abs in from the bottom all the way to the top. Suck it in. I right am. What you're gonna do is you're gonna pull in and drop it down. And keep your heels flat on the floor. Pull it in, drop it down. It doesn't want to pull, pull it in, in, drop it down. OK, now let's come over here. Let's pull it in, drop it in. Pull it in, drop it down. You're going to slide side to side. And where you should feel that is here in your obliques and down here in your hip flexor. So really push it out. I'm breaking a sweat. <laughs> Now we're going to come up, out, down, and in, up, over, down, in, up, out, down, in. We're going to make a figure eight, a circle on the right, then a left, and then a right, then left. So it's not just your belly, it's your whole body. Keep those knees bent, but go up on your toes. What? <laughs> Woo! That's good All for right. the legs, right? I think that's good for me today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys have got to come down. Nazim Alil, Belly Dancing Studios. I'm tired. That was a workout. I feel good already. I feel Let's like give I'm... a hand for us, <laughs> Have you seen this?